All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, all honor, and all glory due to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. I want to give double honors to our apostles and our elders of Great Millstone that rule well. And peace and salutations and many blessings to the elect Akiam, the house of David, and the ancient Hebrew that's pronounced Bayat Dawada. And those of those men kicking this word of sincerity and in truth. I'm the brother Sha'ar from the Great Millstone Dallas camp. And man, I'm just, um, you know, on my way to work. Just want to do an in transit. Just, um, you know, just want to go into various topics just to just to talk for just a quick sec, man. Just going into all the wickedness that you see the so-called white man doing. And you got Jake, on the other hand, being pacified by some bullshit, man. And this is something that's on my spirit to bring out, man. You got this this so-called, well, you got this Black Panther movie that had just came out. And you got, I mean, granted, you know what I mean? Jake kind of feels like they got kind of a, a win in the situation. But at the end of the day, man. You got these Edomites that funded this movie. You ain't African. Like, damn, man. A brother brought up a, a beautiful, a, a good statement, man. And they was going into pretty much how you got all these people, all these Jakes at that, that's going to the theater, dressing up like these Hamites, doing all this pro-black shit. Excuse my language. But when the movie Birth of a Nation came out, you had niggas go out and see the Medea's family uh you know Medea's boo like the, the pretty much the halloween a halloween Medea movie man you you so-called negroes latinos and native americans mainly i'm pointing at you so-called negroes right right now you're clowns man you all are clowns you don't stand up for what is right you are a homeborn slave okay that's just the truth of the matter in the meantime on top on top of that all y'all are so big into this into this Black Panther shit, but a lot of you niggas are still getting shot and killed, man. Look at what's going on. They put the Black Panther movie out. You got the shooting that just happened with that Edomite kid that so-called killed 17 people. In the meantime, you had you had Turkish Turkish mili uh, militia just bomb Syria just a few. I'm sorry, bombed some more Kurds just a few days ago. They're putting a lot of this stuff out here to pacify you Israelites, and that's it. That's just the truth of the matter. We over here in Babylon getting fucked off, still in slavery, still got to go to work every day and be a slave. And y'all say this is a victory because the uh, Black Panther movie came out. Granted, yeah, the movie is probably dope and I'm going to see the movie, you know, Lord willing, of course. But man, you take you give Jake an inch and they just go two miles with it, man. They'll throw some stuff out there to have you forget that your ass is in captivity. They'll throw something out there to have you to have you forget that you still a slave. You still got a nine to five. You still in hella debt and so forth. And you call this a victory. Y'all got to man. Y'all got to wake up. And of course, through the spirit of God, by shipping out shy, whoever's going to wake up are going to be the ones that are meant to wake up. It's just a damn shame to see the condition that our people are in. You know, you got to you sitting under a table. And the so-called white man, your master throw a throw maybe throw you a piece of chicken that nobody won't. And everybody just run into it and feel like you got something good. You still under the table eating a piece of chicken while they sitting up on the table eating all the good food, all the kale, all the spinach, all the salmon, everything that's good for you while they give you a burnt ass crispy piece of fried chicken. You take it and run with it and feel like that's what you need. Feel like you got you you got what you needed. When your hour shot comes back, that's going to be a big wake-up call for you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. Because he ain't going to care about no Black Panther movie. He ain't going to care about uh, the Black Panther Party, what a lot of you niggas deem to be good. Excuse my language, I'm just calling it a spade a spade. He's going to kill a lot of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Because you have yet you have yet to bow down and submit yourself to your Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai. You got all the truth coming out on YouTube. Brothers are doing videos all over the place. You scoffers are at a high, high, high point in demonic black history. A high point. But you still don't want to get right, man. You got Black History Month going on right now, which ain't even really black history, by the way. Well, no, let me rephrase that. It is black history. When you go into the word black and what it means, all right, you give yourself a month. You worship a month to glorify the so-called greatness that you've done here while you've been a slave in America. But your history goes way, way, way further back than just being a Negro in America. 
All right. We had royalty. We had rulership. Granted, Deuteronomy 28 had to come into effect, and we see that. But you give a so-called black man a drumstick in the month of February, and he'll feel like he's the king of the world. He'll feel like he got it all, man. Hand served and everything. It's so much more to what you to what you perceive in front of you. It's so much more to that once you submit yourself to the Lord. All right. And for all you Pan African niggas that feel like the Bible ain't true, the Lord got something special planned for you niggas, man. All right. Let's say you do go back to worshiping the gods You think that you worshiped in Africa How is that going to benefit your ass being a slave here in America today? How is that going to benefit it? The only, the only way of salvation The only way of understanding salvation Is through the scriptures Because that shows your true history That's the only way out of the predicament that you're part of right now The Black Panther movie ain't going to save you The Black Panther party ain't going to save you Big Mama's cooking in the kitchen ain't going to save you, man. We only have one Savior that's able to deliver us. And if you ain't willing to submit yourself to that power, you're going to die. <laughs> knowing self, quote unquote, knowing self, how y'all say, ain't going to stop nuclear missiles from hitting America. Knowing self ain't going to shield you around the fire that's to come to this place. All right, let's say you don't. Let's say you don't believe in the scriptures, which we know is true. But let's say you don't, let's say you don't believe in the scriptures, all right? Contrary to popular belief, war is being brewed up. And that ain't gonna stop the fact that all these other countries ain't gonna bomb this bitch. How is Pan-Africanism gonna save you? How was Ma'at gonna save you in that day? How are, how was the, uh, the Book of the Dead and the Menoneta gonna save you in that day? Ain't no way of those things saving you. No way at all. You over here, Pan-African, say Africa's the way, Africa's this, but you still a slave in America. Let's say, okay, you moved to Africa, what's the next step? How you gonna help your people? What's, what's, what is the uh, solution if the Bible's not the answer? You can't come up with no solution, you know? Jake is just content with being in Babylon, the same thing as back then. That's why only a remnant is going to be saved. And that's why the scriptures talk about only a remnant is going to be saved, man. When you read Isaiah, the 11 chapter, it talks about that remnant. It talks about that scattering. Isaiah 11 and 10. And again, I'm driving, so and it is traffic. So I can't really bring out too many scriptures right now. So it's a lot you. But hey, man, we lived in a worst case scenario. And the only ones that understand this word that are waking up to the truth and power, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, are that remnant. Everybody else got to die. That's just what it is. And you, the, and you scoffers, and worst of all, you people that follow these scoffers, y'all are the worst, man. You got these scoffers that's that's on the comment board talking shit. You go to a page, just not one video, not one video, not nowhere edifying the elect. You got people hacking people's pages, being nosy. Ain't nobody talking about salvation But we're the bad guys Hey, that's why Yahweh Shah said what he said, man That's why he said, you are not of the world You're going to be against the world And the world is going to be against you And that's true, man That's true, actually experiencing this that's what, that's what makes you understand A lot of these people gotta die And that's the best medicine for you, Jakes Because you have yet to submit yourself To the power that created everything you worship the objects that are here. You worship the objects you make and Esau makes. You worship everything that you perceive that you see in front of you, but you don't worship what's not seen. Shows you you don't got no faith. You know? And when these other and when these Israelites that look like other nations start waking up in mass amounts, and a lot of you drink of the circumcision start seeing, you're gonna get jealous just like back then. Just like back then. And ain't gonna wanna perceive it still, man. Makes me understand why why the scripture was fulfilled is being fulfilled in, in Roman the 10th chapter. Oh, almost missed my exit. You know? But I don't want to make this too long. I just just wanted to go into a few things, a few various topics. I'm gonna be pulling up to work here in a sec, man. But um, you know, hey, it's getting really serious. And World War III is right around the corner. And if you ain't right, if you ain't right, if we ain't right, if we ain't right. 
the Lord is gonna the Lord the Lord is gonna try us, man, with physical fire. As it's written in, Ho in Hosea, the fourth chapter, the Lord has a controversy with the inhabitants of the land. And when you go into that verse, it's talking about you, Jakes. He has a controversy with y'all, man. Because you have you still blaspheme his name. You have no knowledge of him. You don't want to receive knowledge of him. You Pan-African niggas feel like you got to have knowledge yourself. When, when you are Israelites and you ain't even diligent in your own studies, what do you worship? What do you believe? How, do you, how are you going to receive salvation? Salvation is of the Jews. Pursuing the John 4 and 22. And that's the only way to receive salvation. One, you got to be an Israelite. And also, you have to believe and submit yourself to Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. And that goes into believing the doctrine, the one true doctrine. The doctrine of the apostles. The doctrine of the apostles, man. The apostles of Great Millstone. It's the only way. You know, but I'm going to end it off on that. Again, I'm pulling into work. Didn't have too many things, but at the same time, had a lot of things to go into, man. Just vex, still down here in Babylon, and we know it's a lot more things to come. But you niggas are vexing, man. You Negro, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are vexing. See why Jeremiah said what he said in the ninth chapter. Take me into, take me into the, uh, the wilderness where wayfaring men dwell. Because you, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans ain't right. Especially a lot of you ones. A lot of you ones that are trying to find self. <laughs> when I say self, I'm uh, I put quotes in front of it. I'm talking about for you people that so-called claim to be woke. All right? You're going to see what it is, man. When, when, you, when, you, when your ass is woke enough to see the missiles coming, you're going to wish that you, had a, that you understood the true way, the gospel. All praise to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Peace and sight taste the many blessings to the elect Akim. Across the four corners of this earth, the house of David, kicking his word of sincerity and in truth. Shalom.